Hey folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how uh, using variables makes a huge difference in when creating your ClickView dashboard. So for example, we have um, five, just for demonstration purposes, five standard text objects here. Um, and we've got the same five over here. So you can see these ones on the left are, so this one on the top is get active sheet ID and the other four are OS user, so the operating system user. So, but also the color, the background color is set to green, and the font is set to white. Now, if we wanted to change these five here, uh, let's take the color as an example. We'd have to go in and change this color to wherever we wanted. Um, let's say it's this horrible color here, and then we'd have to go in and change this one. Where on the other side, I've created variables, so just a color that font. Now I haven't set the variable yet, so and then the so this one is color that font, um, and then the background color is color dot tb, which is text box dot background. So what we could do is press Control Alt and V, and we could say add. We could say color dot font. Click OK. So in here we're going to say RGB one two eight comma zero comma zero. So it doesn't matter what the color is, just for just to show how it works. You can see the color that's changed. So if we do the background color. You say add color dot tv dot background and then we add a color to it so we say rgb let's say two five five comma zero comma zero which is going to be red so you can see within using just one variable we've changed the color of the background of the five objects um, as well over here if we say on the left we've got properties of these four say OS user so we actually if we wanted we could go in here and we could say well we don't want principal backslash Alan we want the uh, which one Alan and we want to capitalize we could say Subfield operating system user, comma, and then within the two single quotes, say backslash, and we say comma two. So we want the text after the backslash. So you can see we've got Alan, but then we want to order use the upper so we want it in uppercase click apply or we may say we want it in capitalize click apply so that's fine but if we wanted to change these other three uh, text objects um, we'd have to do the same thing but what we could do is copy this Into the properties of this, you see, we call it user, so we can just say control alt b, add a new variable called user, click OK, and then select the variable and in the definition paste the formula, click OK. So now you can see it's populated all of these. So rather than making changes individually so we'd have to go in here and do the same thing subfield but we don't really want to be doing that each time so then if you wanted to change anything you could create a, an input box and um, color font color uh, text box background and user I'm sorry and add those variables so then what you could do is actually 
go into the input box and if you wanted to change anything to the text objects you could just do it in here so you could say okay we don't want the red because management don't like it we want to we want green or we want white let's say so let's or black in this case yeah so we say 245 245 as you can see it's in, in one by just changing one um variable it's changing a whole lot but over here nothing's happening so we have to change each one of these text objects individually we could then the background color we could do the same we could say okay we want the text white but we want the background color to be green so we choose let's say one to eight and you can see by just using variables we've now changed all of these text objects here on the right but on the left we'd have to do them all manually and again um, we're using capitalize we could just change this from let's say we don't want to use capitalize you want to use um, upper and see it's changed uh, the operating unit but not just that if uh, over here we've got um OS user we'd have to type in the whole thing we'd have to say sub field each time for each document so you could save these uh, variables outside of ClickView and import them into ClickView which I've got a previous video on but in this one you'd have to keep writing the same thing or uh, you'd have to go in here and you'd have to copy and paste But again after doing all that if you wanted to change them all to upper you'd have to probably go into each one of them or into one and say upper copy and then paste them all the way down but with variables you don't have to do that you can just create the variables in here so for example let's say i have to, all of these are in variables and we want the uh, font to be uh, black let's say so we can go back into the font and we could say zero zero and zero and that's it everything's in black but over here we'd have to do it individually so there's huge power in using variables in click view that's just a, a quick example of using colors and text objects but they can be used across the board for absolutely everything uh, including in the script um, so that's just a brief introduction into the power of using variables. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.